Welcome back. The post-war era. What do we understand by this? That the war will be behind us? That we will have peace? In reality, it may not be as easy as that. In fact, it may need working on if it is really to be the case. This is a discussion that has already got on the way among some sections of the media as well as other organizations. A recent gathering of university students not only highlighted the perspectives of Sri Lanka's youth, but also their views on what needs to be addressed in order to achieve peace in the country. The termination of war and tasks for the future. Who better to take it up than students of political studies, economics and law from universities around Sri Lanka? Representing the organizers of this event, the Foundation for Coexistence, Dr. Kumar Rupasinghe outlined the challenges involved to set the context for discussion. Will the end of this war bring positive peace to Sri Lanka? Everybody would like to see a positive peace. Because of the 30 years war, everybody suffered. Our economy suffered. Our development suffered. Our education suffered. In every aspect, the country suffered. Should the government now negotiate with moderate Tamil parties to find a lasting political solution? That is a question which again comes up. Who can the government negotiate with? From the current situation in the North to long-term rehabilitation needs, as well as examples from other countries that have come out of conflict situations, the students heard about the challenges of the political and social context. U.S. Ambassador Robert Blake added to the discussion by bringing into focus how youth can make an impact and influence the recovery process. I believe that young people in Sri Lanka should dare to hope for a new and brighter future for yourselves and for your country. And you must not wait for others to act because your parents' generation failed to act. Because you are not burdened by the prejudices of the past. Rather, you are fired by the possibilities of the future. Dayani Panagoda from SCOP brought up the issues of former combatants and their rehabilitation and reintegration. We need to build that trust. To build that trust, you need to, I mean, you need to build confidence with the other party who you are talking to and you are talking in good terms. You are trying to help them because they were misled. They are now uh, on the other side of the war, so we need to help them. So we need to discuss with them. As student participants of this workshop began to share their own views and experiences, it was the ground reality that they were most concerned about. <laughs> Political mechanisms for conflict resolution, like the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, was another area of interest for the students. Janatara Manskata Dhani Samaji Hadagana Pulwan. Ikabata 
मैं धातुओं के संपर्क में आपने पिलिकान का बैग आपने इन्हें वाला ऐसा ना दिया आवश्यक है कि है ना इल्ली में करने कोई तरह साधारण है तो मुकद्दर धातुओं के संपर्क में नहीं थी ना बालकल प्रमाण है बालकल मात्र का तकरीर में महिला के अतरम मेरा टेंडी ना प्रश्न है कि महिला का प्रमाण है वैना वहीं ने कहा बालकल पुलिस बालकल आगे दिया काम किया तो मगर ना हो मैं बालकल आते क्या ना कोटा सामान पेट्रोल मत मारने तो संधि या मत तो आसान तो आते हैं ना ऐ लगी है How can these young people contribute towards Sri Lanka's future? As a generation that has grown up with varying experiences of conflict, they are an important voice, the youth voice that has never been given the place it should in Sri Lankan politics. These students are aware of this and want to see a change in their lifetime. But they do need the knowledge and tools and a conducive environment to make it happen. There is a big gap in the technology, economic, and the political system. Uh, mostly, the, today, the, uh, according to the globalization, the, I think technology is the main thing. Then uh, we can uh, move into the world easily. Uh, so, uh, according to Sri Lanka, I think uh, there is a lack of technology. Uh, there is a lack of knowledge. Mm, we have to improve that. I have seen uh, so, so many friends uh, from various parts and various uh, universities and uh, various cultures uh, and ethnicities. Uh, they, have, uh, they, they are arguing uh, so many problems uh, to each other. Uh, we got some struggles and uh, we got some new plans. Uh, I think uh, this is the good platform to everyone, to each other, to perform, to reform our duties and our abilities, our strengths, enhance our duties and enhance our personal strength. This is a good platform.